Uh, well, I work with adolescents uh, primarily, and when adolescents come into treatment, generally they will minimise the alcohol issue, and they will primarily say it's to do with their substance of choice, which may be cannabis or cocaine or uh, amphetamines, uh, benzos or heroin, and they will very minim- very much minimise the alcohol. But whilst they're in treatment, you realise, yeah, alcohol is a massive problem for them and was going right alongside the other substances, but they were choosing not to go there. Um, So I think there's a huge culture now in regards to underage drinking and binge drinking. Um, The use of alcohol now is is so excessive um, within the young population. Um, And our young people are coming into treatment with generally their substance misuse has began around the age of 12, 12, 13. Uh, if they're to come into treatment just that's where they've started and mostly alcohol cannabis alcohol slash cannabis will be there too so you would say as well it's kind of like people don't even think of alcohol it really has a kind of an addiction thing and it's kind of no kind it's of disregarded dismissive. totally yeah. disregarded so whether that's to do with the fact that it's legal and culturally as a society we're so accepting of alcohol maybe that's played a part in it um, and probably is a large part in it but yeah, they min- minimise, hugely minimise their use. Um, but we're seeing massive problems and massive medical problems for young people. You know, 21-year-olds w- heading towards cirrhosis of the liver and, you know, really serious medical issues as a result of alcohol only. So um, it's, a, it's a big problem. Uh, I wouldn't be against decriminalisation. To be honest, because I do feel that criminalising the the drug users or people that are having difficulties with drug dependence is not helpful on any level. So what we find is people are trying to come into recovery uh, and do go into recovery, and then their options are really limited because of criminal past criminal charges. So to do with work or travel or things like that. They're very, very limited, and things, you know, it's terribly difficult. And with the stigma again uh, around it and around being uh, imprisoned or charged, it, is, it makes it terribly difficult to make a new life in recovery and to start over. So we'd very much be, you know, certainly not against decriminalisation. But the piece that I would like to see put into place, if the government were to look at that, is that if they went with decriminalisation, they need to at the same time go with increase in. Uh, treatment availability and options for people so that it goes hand in hand. Well, we've seen a huge increase in prescription drug dependence, mostly to do with uh, benzodiazepines. There's been a massive increase in the last number of years uh, and quite a number increase uh, within the female population. But uh, the street use now of prescription drugs has gone through the roof. So they may not be prescribed to the individual, but they're being used and abused and people are dependent on them. The way Ireland is at the moment, there are not enough services and not enough funding. Like at the Ashling Centre in Ballyragged in Kilkenny is the only treatment centre for adolescents in Ireland, England and most of Europe as far as we're aware. I mean, that's... That's amazing. Scandal. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I didn't know, know that either. And we can only take up to 16 clients at a time. And so if you imagine Ireland and our population and the need and all of that. So our treatment, what it is, is it's, uh, it's based on 12-step uh, model originally and abstinence has been the goal, long-term life goal. Um, that type of treatment is the only one in, in Ireland or England or most of Europe as far as we're aware. So that would give you an idea how limited the resources are, you know for treatment for young people, specifically young people now. So would it be very limited. So would it be still it's kind of a sort of waiting list now in your in the yeah. as well? Yeah, you're looking at about a month. We try and make it as quickly as possible, but you're looking at three weeks to a month for somebody to actually get treatment. Maybe even slightly longer, depending on their circumstances. Um, the the problem after that is there's not enough um, limited step down units for young people. Uh, in fact, there are none. You have to be 18 or over to go to the step-down unit. So for a young person who's gone through our treatment, it might be six to eight weeks or nine weeks, depending on detox, they really need a step-down after that, which kind of means uh, support, but you're back in the community and you're doing your thing, do you know, if they don't have a stable family to go to. And there's none for under-18s in the whole country. 
So that's a massive problem. And for the over 18s, there are only three in the country for men. They're for men, though. And there's only one for female in Cork. That's it, in the whole country. So it is scandalous how limited the resources are uh, for treatment, this type of treatment, certainly. Abstinence-based treatment, if you like. Um, there will be other treatments around that are harm reduction and support and community services. But if somebody is dependent on a chemical, you know, and you need that level of care. Generally, somebody needs that level of care in order to break the cycle of it and be given half a really good shot at getting better. So, so do you agree then that um, the government should do more absolutely. in this case? Absolutely. Uh, very recently I went on a, there was an expert panel uh, to do with the next national drug strategy and I went on that and our main thing is we need more services in Ireland for addiction, for people with addiction. Now that's every addiction, so you've got alcohol, all your drug uh, and gambling, so everything. Whereas the last <coughs> national drug strategy only focused on heroin, which it, you know, that's not half, half enough, you know, it's not half enough. We still need that, but we need everything else too, you know. So yeah, that's big time.